Hola, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And today I'm going to be setting up um, the next week's spread in my Thick and Juicy Home Life Planner. I actually just set up my um, December divider. I, as always, went super all out with this one. Look how cute the little gingerbread men and the Christmas trees are. So, so, so cute. I just uploaded this video, so if you're interested in seeing how I set this up, definitely go check that out. And I also set up my December monthly. Love how it turned out. But now we're going to be setting up um, the first week in December. And so I'm actually using a vertical style setup here. And this is from the Seasonal Doodles Planner, of course. Um, sometimes I change the pages that the divider comes with. I like to mix and match Franken plant hybridized planners, but this month I actually stuck with the pages that this um, that this planner came with. So let me set aside my big thick and juicy planner to the side. I usually don't take out the pages when I, you know, set up my my planner spread, but in this case I am going to take them out because of those gingerbread man and Christmas tree 3D stickers that I used for the divider are really really thick and they're kind of difficult to write on and to, you know, but it's so easy to take out the pages and plop them back in. So, I'm going to be doing that. And um, yeah, let's get into it. If you're interested in seeing what I do, then just keep on watching. Okay, first off, <laughs> I just started setting up my pages. But first off, I'm going to be using the Digital Detox and the Wellness sticker books. This one is a little bit older and this one's a little bit newer. But it, this one has been out for a while now. And these are just really, really beautiful sticker books. They're very soft, lots of pastels. And I just love like the aesthetics of both of these. The, they're really similar and they focus a lot on wellness, personal wellness. And the Digital Detox is particularly interested in exactly that, social media breaks. First thing I'm doing here is lining the bottom with this gorgeous lilac um, washi tape from Simply Gilded. It has this beautiful gold foil like polka dot design. And I just am in the mood to um, just line the entire bottom here. I'm trying to be really, really careful about lining the bottom because I hate when my pages curl up because my washi tape is too like tightly lined there at the bottom. I think the purple will go really well with this lilac or kind of like muted dusty wisteria purple up and down the spine here and I'm thinking of layering that with this gorgeous bow washi tape here also from Simply Gilded. Let me cut off that end there. I just want this spread to be super, super um, soft and feminine and calming. And I just want to like be happy when I look at it. So we're going with these soft baby pastels this week. Honestly, I've been feeling a little bit stressed out with work lately and just everything that's going on. There's been a lot going on lately and I feel a little bit stressed out. So that's why I'm reaching for these wellness oriented and like digital detox oriented sticker books to help me kind of ground myself and remember to prioritize my wellness and just to be mindful that I'm staying healthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. So that's the reason behind gravitating towards these wellness sticker books. And we're back in a vertical planner this month. I'm really excited for that. Um, the last couple of weeks I was using a dashboard, so I'm very, very excited to be back in a vertical. I find like that the vertical is probably my favorite um, planner style, honestly. It's just so versatile, so flexible. It's very, very good for journaling. 
as well as like functional planning and I just love it so much. So I'm very happy to be back here and I'm just sprinkling these like full boxes throughout the page. Um, no rhyme or reason whatsoever to uh, setting up these full boxes. I just wanna throw them down here. Oh, I love these stickers so much. These are beautiful. I love this, the doodle time to rest. So I'll just add a few throughout the page here. <gasps> the mountains are calling sticker book. Maybe I'll go for a hike. Um, oh yeah, I am going for a hike on the 4th. The mountains are calling and I must go sticker. Ooh, I love this one. Hope today. Let's do that. Sunset slowdown, focus today. Let me grab a box sticker that doesn't have a prompt on it because I want to write down like my hike plans, my hiking plans for the weekend. Let's see, is there anything that I can grab here? Mm, I don't see one that doesn't have a prompt on it. I could use one of these Hope Today stickers. Um, oh, no, I regret putting this sticker so close to the edge. I wonder if I can peel it up. Uh, I'm always so nervous to peel up stickers. I always think that they're gonna rip, the page is gonna rip. Uh, yeah, it does wanna rip the page here. Oh no, no, let's do it. Okay, let's now put this sticker just like right here. And then I can plop down this sticker right there. Perfect. And that will be my hiking plans. Let me go ahead and write that down. Perfect. And I think that's all I have going on this week. Oh, the Costa Mesa Gem Fair is happening starting on the 2nd. So I'm going to grab a box for that. Let's see if I can grab one here. Da, da, da. Mm, I don't see one that I want, so I'm just going to grab another one of these boxes and plop that right here on Friday. I saw a journaling box that I think would be fun to plop down here in the corner. I always like to journal, so... I think it'd be nice to get like a nice journaling box and just put this here. I can journal a little bit at the end of the week. Let's put that there. And let's grab one of these disconnecting from stickers. I would love to disconnect from social media this week and just make it a point. So let's grab one of these unplug stickers. Let's disconnect on Tuesday and also let's disconnect on Thursday. I'll put another one here and I'll just make a very pointed effort to disconnect from social media and screens as much as possible on Tuesday and Thursdays. I love this digital detox bucket list and all of these prompts. I think that would be really, really fun to try to challenge myself to do. Um, let's see, where should I put this? Maybe here, Dig digital detox bucket list. And then I can, um, grab a lot of these prompts here. So let's see. Um, ooh, stretch it out. Let's do stretch it out. Lay that down. Read a book. Yes, that sounds good. I'm going to read a book. I'm reading a lot of books right now. I always tend to read like four or five books at a time, some on Audible, um, some physical. Right now, I'm listening to One Soldier's War um, by Arkady Babchenko. He was a Russian soldier in the Chechnyan Wars of the 1990s, and One Soldier's War is his experiences throughout those wars. Ooh, let's do Take a Long Walk. And then I'm also reading right now Marie Kondo's um, The 
tidying, the secret art of tidying up or whatever it's called, you know, that famous one. I've actually read her second book, Spark Joy, already, and I never read her first one, and so I found it in my local thrift store and figured I could, you know, give that one a go. So I'm reading that one as well as the third book in the Dune series. I read the original Dune like a few years ago and then I just read Dune Messiah this year so now I'm reading the third book. I'm gonna grab Plan a Spa Day. Um, let's see what else do I want to do. Ooh, take photos on a nature walk. That seems fun. And then let's see what else should I do. No social media. Visit a museum. Have a picnic. Let's do have a picnic and then make a vision board. Exercise outdoor. Ooh, watch a sunset. I love that. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. <laughs> I wanna do more, but I also don't wanna overwhelm myself. Okay, that's enough. Ooh, let me grab one of these doodles and dreams stickers. I think it'd be fun to doodle. So let's see, where should I put this one? Maybe I'll put this one here. Doodles and dreams. Love it. I am already loving how this spread is turning out. Like, it looks so cute. Um, let's see, what else should I do? And then, this is a nice sticker for journaling, so I will grab this and maybe put this right here. Ooh, I love this like challenge sticker. I love like the prompt stickers from Happy Planner. This one is um, be sure to get a daily dose of sun this week. Decide to spend a few minutes soaking up the rays. The sunshine is good for the soul. I love that. So let me put this on Thursday. I think that's a good um, a good place to put it. And I'll just stagger it a little bit here so that I can have the spot to add any more stickers. And I'm gonna grab my unplugged habit tracker here. I think this would be really nice to have. Um, and I think I can put it, uh, actually I don't want it to cover that. Um, right here, I'll put it right here, unplugged like that. Perfect. I love how this is turning out already. And I'm just going to grab one of these clear disconnect stickers and just layer it on the top there. I love these little like medals. This one says I didn't check my email, so that's amazing. I'm going to like just put this right here. It's a little tongue in cheek. I try not to check my emails on the weekend, so I'll put that on the other weekend. And let me go into my wellness sticker book and see what I can get into here. Um, let me grab some of these banners. This one says relax. And I think it'll be nice to just add them throughout the page. This one says focus. I'll add this one on Thursday. Perfect. Mostly because I just want to get through those stickers there. I love these doodles. This one says calm and relax. So I would love to add this maybe, where's a good place to put this? Maybe here, just on top of the journaling box. Ooh, enjoy the sunshine. <gasps> sunrise quiet time. I would love to like, you know, check out the sunrise. I think I'm gonna make it in a point to watch the sunrise on Monday. So I'll put this one right here, sunrise quiet time. Beautiful. And of course, I want some um, check boxes because we do want this to be functional. So let's go ahead and add some throughout the spread. I'll add this one right here and then this one over here another one right here <gasps> i love these clear stickers with the foil on them gorgeous let yourself rest i'll put this one right here beautiful i'll grab this gorgeous rest sticker i'm gonna put it right here oh 
beautiful. This is gorgeous. I'm loving this spread. I want this sp uh, sticker with the foiled hand and the little sprout coming out. Oh, gorgeous. So let me see. Where should I put this one? Yeah, I like this. Like right there. Gorgeous. Oh, the sticker is so good. So good. These stickers are just beautiful. I love them so much. I'm gonna get one of these like arch stickers and I think I'll pop it maybe right here. Healthy habit to focus on. <gasps> these are gorgeous. The little moon. Oh my goodness. So cute. Maybe I should put this up there. And I really want to use one of these sun stickers. I feel like it might be hard to find like a good spot to put it. Maybe like right here. Yeah, let's put it right here. Love it. Beautiful. And I think the last thing I will do is just add some prompt stickers. This one says currently I can use this as like a little space to journal. I'll grab a feeling sticker and put this right here. Amazing. I really, really like how um, this is turning out. So soft and it's just so pleasant and uh, calming to look at. And you know what? I feel like I kind of want to write like or map out some lines. I think that would be fun. I usually don't map out lines, but I'm feeling the need to map out some lines, like to write on. So let me do that. And I will just use this really pretty purple from Papermate. This is from one of their sets and this one is floral scented. Sometimes I feel the need to get like a stencil to map out my lines. And then part of me just wants to like freehand them and just not care too much about perfection. I'm going to do some more lines down here. And some lines up here and then over there. Okay, I just really want to add one of these gross stickers up here for some reason. It's calling to me. Just there in the corner, love it. And I think that's it, I think we're good. I gotta stop now, but I love it. I love how it looks. It's very soft, very pleasant, very calming. That's exactly what I wanted and what I needed. And I think it's just like a good um, start to December. It's kind of like that calm before like the winter holiday, like hustle and bustle. And I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of like classic winter and Christmas spreads um, for the majority of December. That's just what I like to do. A lot of like these type of spreads. And so I just wanted to do something nice and sweet and calming before I jump into classic holiday and winter spreads. I might do like another regular non-Christmas, non-seasonal, non-holiday spread for the week of the 5th through the 11th, but for sure the 12th through the 18th, um, this is going to be a winter spread. I think winter starts, oh no, winter starts on the 21st, but I think I'm going to be doing a winter spread anyways, and then for sure the 19th through the 25th is going to be a Christmas spread, and then 26th to the 1st also is going to be a Christmas spread. And yeah, because of course I have to do Christmas this week because Christmas is on Monday. Oh no, Christmas is on Sunday, but I still want to do a Christmas spread anyways this week. Like a Christmas wintry spread. I might do a New Year's spread for the first week in January. I'm so excited. I've already set up my January month for 2023. Well, not really set up, like I didn't set anything up. I just popped it into my planner. So we have January 2023, just around the corner. I'm gonna be using the new Disney seasonal 
planner. Of course, this is such a cute little design here. And this is a color block and it's their new color block, which does not have that wonky weekend situation going on. It's color block all the way through, which I love. This might be my favorite style of planner format that they have released. And I actually, I've gone ahead and already set up the rest of the months for the year. I said I wasn't going to do it until later, but I just got into the mood to want to do it. And so I did it. But February, I'm sticking with the Disney seasonal. March, I'm going with the stress management planner. Oh, this thing is amazing. I can't wait to dive into it. It's just so happy and fun. And honestly, depending on how I feel about this planner, I might change up the planner pages for some of the following months because I don't have any more of these stress management um, pages for the rest of the months that I've chosen just because I don't really like the dividers of the stress management planner. Like this one is one of my favorite ones, the one from March, but all the other ones I'm not a huge fan of. And so I'm thinking maybe if I like the format, what I'll do is keep the divider of whatever month and then substitute the stress management pages for that month, if that makes sense. April is going to be from the seasonal doodles, which is a vertical. May, I grabbed this divider from Disney new villains this is Cruella oh, so cute and this is also a vertical for June I grabbed the seasonal doodles divider and I just had to because this is the cover of the planner and I just felt like I had to use it so this is also vertical July also from that same planner just because I love seasonal and this is just such a classic 4th of July um, design so I had to do that so of course it's vertical as well. August I'm still on the fence about this one this is Disney floral it's definitely outdated it's from last year but I figured it's 2022 but of course I can always um, reday and this is just such a beautiful design that I want to get use out of my color block, my Disney color block. And then September Disney seasonal. This is such a gorgeous divider and this is color block as well. October, I grabbed the seasonal doodles. Ugh, I love this design so much. And of course this is a vertical. November, I grabbed vintage botanicals. This is also a vertical very very elegant i love the font choices and then for december 2023 a full year out i grabbed the last month from disney seasonal and this is a color block and so yeah the last page in my thick and juicy home life planner is just this note page and then that's it so i have the entire year of 2023 in this planner now and i just love my choices we'll see if i stick with them but for now i just really really like um the months that I've chosen and and definitely I feel like I will definitely stick with January and February from the Disney seasonal for now but anyways that was just a quick peek into what I have planned for 2023 but this plan with me is over thank you so much for spending the time with me here today I really appreciate it stay safe stay blessed and happy planning bye